to the NBA 2K Nation podcast, your number one source for all things NBA 2K, sports gaming, and beyond. Michael against Russell, 12 seconds, 11, 10, short the drive, hangs, fire, yeah! Kawhi Leonard, Danny Green, down by one, Tim Duncan, he got fouled, and one! Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Chillionine W back one more time and I just wanted to take a quick little segment to talk about NBA 2K15, um, my team mode specifically. This year they're introducing <clears throat> what they call an auction block. Now I haven't actually played the game yet. I'm recording this before the game releases so this is just going to be some quick thoughts. Um, so they're bringing an auction block auction house, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what ex exactly the name is. Um, if you've ever played Madden Ultimate Team or FIFA Ultimate Team or any Ultimate Team mode in general, I know NHL has the mode. Um, there's a mode where you get the packs of players and you start your own team basically. They give you like a, a pack of, uh, let's just say, bronze players or low tier players and then from there you upgrade, you play games, you earn coins and with those coins you buy packs of cards which can potentially have either like a gold tier player, a silver tier or bronze tier which is obviously the worst also there's like an elite tier uh, for Madden, there's like diamond cards for 2k uh, which are the rare ones also different colored gem cards for 2k like uh, Sapphire, Emerald, Ruby cards, those are the rare ones, the gem cards. Um, the medals cards are the are the um, second tier, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, they're, it's, this is something they've needed to implement into NBA 2K ever since they've had the My Team mode. I don't know if they've been thinking about that or if they thought their system they had was perfect, but I will say that My Team mode is pretty, it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Um, it just needed some improvements, which was an auction house because sometimes you earn players, or you might earn a certain card or packs or whatnot, and it will be a duplicate of what you already have. So you obviously don't want to keep the same card of what you already have and you can't even use it. So obviously the logical thing to do with a trading card, which is what it's supposed to be, it's a virtual trading card, it comes out of a pack and everything, the most logical thing to do would be to trade it that's what you do with trading cards or to sell it so I think this year with 2k15 you can definitely they, they listen to us I know I, I for one complained a lot on Twitter about it but I think they listen to us so let's just say I I get a card I already have like I have a Kevin Durant and then I pull another Kevin Durant from a pack I can take, take that extra Kevin Durant put him on the block for a certain amount of coins or trade him to a friend or sell him to a friend and I can benefit from that. Well, whereas in 2K14, you could get a duplicate player. And the only option you had was to sell it back to the, uh, pretty much sell it back to the game for a very small amount of coin, a fraction for what you actually paid for the pack. The pack might have been about 14,000 coins. And then, um, actually the pack would be, some packs were more than that, in between about 14 to around 20,000 coins and you'd get a duplicate card and all you can do is sell it back for let's say about 4,000 coins 5,000 just like nothing and it takes forever it took too long to earn a big amount of coins like 20,000 to open a pack just to get a duplicate or something but now you can play it for as long as you want and spend your coins on a specific player that you're going for granted that nobody else buys that player before you do so it's not just like a gamble you don't have to gamble if you don't want to you can earn coins and then buy that specific player or auction a specific player that you have um, in your collection for a certain amount of coins to buy another player you might want so I feel that that mode is going to be really great it's something they needed once again um, I'm really looking forward to collecting all the jerseys completing a lot of collections this year because they didn't do a great job of, of explaining how my team worked for 2k14 I personally got to see it one in three weeks and I didn't complete one collection at all I didn't know I didn't know about it like <clears throat> they didn't do a good job explaining they didn't tell what the diamond cards were or anything or how you got those so I think now that 
people are a little bit more well versed with that game mode. Um, they're gonna people like me are gonna really take advantage of the auction block because you can you can make so much coins off that, and it's just like a very very fun new element that they implemented to the game mode. So yeah, guys, that's about it for today. Peace out. Uh, catch me on Twitter at sgl underscore chill. Catch you next time, y'all.